Hello and welcome back to Crafted by Corey. If you're new, I'm Corey. Welcome to my channel. If you are returning, thank you as always for being here. Don't mind my appearance because I am in full on craft mode working on the minis video for this coming Friday. Um, but I wanted to hop on real quick and share with you. You might have already seen me talking about this if you follow me on Instagram um, or I think it also posted to my Facebook page. I also posted on my community tab. But if you've been following me at all for a little while, you've probably seen me using the Kirkland ribbon. And that is the ribbon that is Costco's brand. And I am really excited because I've been talking about it for months now and letting you guys know that it'll probably be available around August, September. I was in there yesterday and they have it in stock. So, and you know what? Normally they carry the same ribbons year over year and they just change up maybe three or four of them, maybe five, you know, a handful of them. They usually have about 20 different ribbons and they change out some of them, but usually they have the other ones that are same year over year. This year was different. <laughs> this year, they've got almost all new, almost entirely new. So I picked up 18 of the ribbons. Um, they are 50 yards per roll. They The price did go up a little bit. Normally, in the past, it's been $6.99. It has gone up to $8.49, but still $8.49 for 50 yards of really high quality wired ribbon. So I wanted to pop on here, share with you all the different ribbons that I got in case you want to go and check it out. If you don't have a Costco near you, I understand that other wholesalers um, like Sam's Club or BJ's might also carry their versions of the ribbon, and I bet you're going to get a really good deal there as well. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up each of these ribbons to share with you why I love them and show you up close all the different designs so you can see if you want to try and go out and find them yourself at your local Costco or um, your local wholesale club. So the first one, this is a blue and silver, and I'm just going to go ahead and cut open the plastic. I probably should have done this before I got online with you guys here. Um, and I do want to thank you all for your patience with me because I've been super busy with my day job and I haven't had a lot of time to respond to comments. Um, I am going through and liking things at least or giving you guys hearts to let you know that I am there. I am seeing them. Um, I just haven't been able to write comments the way that I normally like to do. So, um, but this one, if you can see this, it is a blue with silver and then on the blue, it's got silver sparkles. Um, I'm looking to see if it's not I guess it is a little bit like a glitter. It's not like a super, like, um, it's not massive amounts of glitter. Like you're not gonna have glitter everywhere if you try to use this ribbon, is what I'm trying to say. So that I thought was absolutely beautiful. Really, really stunning, very nice quality. The next one I think is gonna be really popular is this Buffalo check. It is a red and black Buffalo check. And again, these are, some of these are two and a half inch. Some of these are one and a half inch. And I think that's, that's about it. So they're either one and a half inch or two and a half inch for each of these ribbons. And this one, again, this is a Buffalo check and just really nice wired ribbon really really pretty this one's a little bit um, on the sheer side I can see um, a little bit through it so it's not like a super dense ribbon but really really pretty and it's not sheer sheer it's um it's just not completely opaque so and let me see so this is one of the one and a half inch ribbons and this is more like a traditional Christmas kind of plaid if you will um, there's another word for that that I'm trying to think of right now and it's not coming to me, but, but this one, it's uh, got the cranberry and red and green and an off-white and it's trimmed in gold. And again, these are all wired ribbons. And I do have a bow tutorial that I had done, I think it was last holiday season. Um, so maybe I'll do a refresher on, on bows and do some more bow tutorial stuff for you guys with some of these newer ribbons. 
Y'all, I almost died when I saw this next one. <laughs> I was just so excited because, and I know not a lot of people are crazy about gnomes. I was one who just, I didn't really get the whole gnome thing until I decided to make one. And then I just thought it was adorable. And then I started making a lot of gnomes, but they have ribbon with gnomes. How cute is that? Little Christmas gnomes with their little candy canes. I think they're so cute. And their little beards and the snowflakes around them have a little bit of an iridescent glitter. So they've got a little bit of bling going on. So those are really pretty, really cute. All right, talk about bling. Now this one is full on glitter. I'm gonna be curious to see how it works with, you know, messing with it. If the glitter is gonna kind of come popping off of here. Um, so I have to say it's on there pretty solid. It's almost like, um, I wanna say confetti because it has different sizes of the glitter on here. But this is one a one and a half inch ribbon. And I don't know if the light is picking it up for you. It's hard for me to tell while I'm recording this, but it's a little bit of iridescent. So it's definitely a white ribbon, but as the light hits it, you get pinks and greens and maybe like a turquoise color. So it's that iridescent kind of color, really pretty. Here we go, don't mind me with all of my plastic. <laughs> um, I mean, these are packaged really nicely too. So just trying to get my scissors in here to cut the plastic wrapping. Um, but they have all different kinds, y'all. Uh, the only two that I didn't pick up, because I think I got 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Yes, I got 18. The only two that I did not pick up were two that I already had. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, all right, so this one is just like a burlap kind of ribbon. Um, it's not thick like burlap, it's really easy to work with, um, but it's got the gold Christmas trees on it with snowflakes. Is that pretty? I just think all of these ribbons are just absolutely gorgeous. Really, really nice. And I can't think of a better deal. I mean, even when some of the craft stores have their ribbons 50% off to get 50 yards of ribbon for $8.50. I, I just, it blows my mind. So now this one I may already have, I'm not sure. I picked it up because I wasn't certain if it was the same as what I already have. I think it probably is, but that's all right. Who can't use some red and white striped ribbon, right? So this one, this one might not be new. I think I might actually have this in my stash. I haven't gone back in to look yet. This one does have quite a bit of glitter on it on the red stripes. Red stripes are all glitter. Um, there's a little bit of it coming off on my fingers here. Just so if you are anti-glitter, this probably won't be a ribbon that you want to pick up. But again, just super, super pretty. And makes me think of a candy cane. Just really, really sweet. So set that one aside. This one I thought was also really pretty. This one is a sheer ribbon. This one is clearly gold and it has snowflakes um, imprinted on it. It looks like glitter as well. So we'll see if this one is going to be um, challenging from a glitter everywhere perspective. But, but look how pretty that is. And you can see that it's sheer because you can see my hand behind it but really, really pretty. And it's definitely sparkly with, uh, but you know what? These sparkles are, are on here really, really well. So again, quality ribbon, right? And you, you guys, Costco doesn't know I'm doing this. I, they have no idea who I am. This is not a promotional video at all. I just happen to love the Costco ribbon and I wanted to be able to share it with you. Um, this one, even if you don't like glitter because it gets everywhere, but you like the way it looks, I recommend this one. It's not coming off on my fingers at all. And there's a lot of glitter on this. So this one might be a good one for you to try out. Here is another one in gold. I'm not sure, I think this one might also be sheer, but it's got a different pattern on it. It's more of a, um, I was gonna say geographic. That is not the right word. Um, geometric. That's the word I was looking for. So it's more of a geometric pattern. 
This one has a lot more uh, glitter on it though. Let's see. Yeah, this one's going to come off a little bit. I mean, it's not like it's just all coming off on my fingers, but it's enough that I notice it. Again, I don't know if you can see my fingers, but um, it, the other one with the snowflakes didn't do that at all. So if you can see that, it's a little bit, but not like all of it's coming off of the ribbon. So again, if you don't like glitter and you don't like having glitter getting on things, that one might not be a choice for you. And if you prefer silver, they also have silver ribbon. If I can get this one open. And this one's just a plain silver opaque ribbon. I can't see through this one at all, but it's really nice to work with. So it's this one would make great gift package bows. This one's really, really pretty. Well, they're all really, really pretty. That's why I like them, right? Just fantastic quality with the ribbon. And so much you can do with them. I mean, with making regular bows, decorating your Christmas tree, if you like to put ribbon on your Christmas tree, um, doing wreaths with bows, doing ribbon wreaths. I mean, there's so much you can do. Sometimes I line some of my craft projects with ribbon if I want to have something different than a wooden frame around it. So lots you can do. This next ribbon was one of the first ones I grabbed because I thought it was so pretty. Um, this one, it makes me think of like a, um, what's it, the word for it? Like a quilt. It makes me think of a quilt. Um, there's also another word, but this is neat. And I didn't realize what it was gonna look like on the back. I'm gonna show you the front first. So it's kind of like Harlequin. That was what I was trying to think of. It's like a Harlequin kind of pattern on it. I'm gonna try and zoom in for you here a little bit, but I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's like a Harlequin pattern, like diamonds with little fun um, shiny nibs. Look at the back. So the back has that, I guess it's like an, um, a shiny thread going through it. And that's what's creating that little design. So really, really pretty. I'm just trying to see like if I pull on that, it will, it will pull through, I think. Let me see, I'll pull one of them out. Yeah, so that will pull out. So you wanna be careful not to catch those back little, they're not loops, but just the way that this is made, you just would want to be mindful not to catch the back of this ribbon on anything or it'll end up pulling the stuff out. But really, really pretty. Again, this is an inch and a half. And um, here's another one. Now this one is fall, totally fall. Absolutely in love with this. It's got the fall leaves. You can guarantee I'm gonna be using this in a very, um very recent it's not happened yet um i will be using this very soon in a um soon to come project i don't know what yet but look at this and this is semi sheer again but look how pretty this is no glitter but it's still got shine to it so i would say it's got metallic threads being used all through this ribbon and just really really pretty fall leaves and these kind of brownish orange tones. Gorgeous. All right, this one is clearly Christmas and this one has all kinds of um, Christmas ornaments designed on it. I'm just trying to get all of these plastic things off. Sorry. <laughs> um, this one is an opaque ribbon. So it's got, this is on navy. I don't know if you can tell on camera. It is not black. It's just a navy blue with the different um, ornaments designed. And it does have some of the gold glitter on here. I don't know if I already have glitter on my hands. I don't want to say that it's coming off from this if it's from something else. I rode my hand over it. Not really picking up any of the glitter off of this. So I do see it transferring a little bit onto the ribbon itself, but you're not gonna have a big mess with this. So really, really pretty, it's very cute. I think this would probably, I can see um, this going on packages or maybe on the tree. I don't know about the tree. Packages for me, probably more so than crafting, unless I could actually see myself cutting out some of these little ornaments, cutting them out of the ribbon and applying them to something, maybe to an ornament, I don't know. Just off the top of my head, thinking out loud. 
this next ribbon is another one that I have fallen absolutely in love with. It might be my top three favorites out of everything I picked up. Although, I don't know, it's really hard to pick because they're all so pretty. Um, but this one, you guys, this is gorgeous. Let me get this undone so that I can show you a little bit better. This is a two and a half inch ribbon. Like I said, all of these are two and a half inches for the wider ones and one and a half inches for the more narrow ribbons. They're all wired, um, but this is gorgeous. Well, if you like red, I happen to like red, but look, all of these little berries. And again, this is glittered. Uh, let me take a look and see if this glitter is gonna come off not coming off on my fingers. So again, the quality y'all, so pretty. So the stems, I'm trying to look, but my, I, I do not think that's black. I think it's a dark brown. The branches are dark brown and then you've got the red berries, but just absolutely beautiful. It is, um, I would say 90% opaque. So I can kind of see my fingers through it, but I think that's probably because I've got all this light going on, but just absolutely beautiful. This is, I can't wait to use this ribbon. I just think it is so super pretty and I haven't seen anything like it yet. So really, really pretty there. Now I almost didn't pick this one up because I'm thinking I might already have this. I know I have at least one other, um, Losing my words again, you guys. What kind of bird is it? Peacock. I know I have at least one other peacock ribbon in my stash, also from Costco. Um, I know I know it's different from this one, but I think I might have this one too. Either that or this is a brand new one. I don't know. But if you like peacocks and you want something like this in your tree, how beautiful. This would be so elegant looking. I don't know, something about peacocks I think is so sophisticated. But um, yeah, so I had to have this too. I'm gonna have to find another drawer in my craft area <laughs> to house all these ribbons because my ribbon drawers are already full. I think I've got five or six drawers of ribbon. If you've seen my craft makeover video, you know that I had redone my craft room and I've got all kinds. It's, I've, I've got a ribbon problem, I think. But um, hmm, this one here is another one. It's funny because the ribbon, funny story. When I saw all the ribbon, we made a beeline over there. That wasn't what we were there for, um, but I'm always on the lookout for the ribbon, especially this time of year. And I said to Rich, my husband, um, that I wanted to check and see if they had the ribbon. We were walking over and it was, randomly over by the Verizon display, like the kiosk there. And so I was overlooking at the ribbon and then the, the uh, Verizon guy started talking with Rich. Long story short, we were there for a couple of hours. He's got a new phone. We've got a, you know, <laughs> whatever. But, um, but while we were at the Verizon kiosk, and granted I had already put all of the ribbon in the cart. <laughs> so while we were there, I just, I kept looking over at the display that they had with all the ribbon and this one kept catching my eye. And I just think it is absolutely beautiful. Just so elegant. It's got the, basically the pine branches going across in that Harlequin kind of pattern again. And it has, the um, glitter, which is almost more of a copper tone, it's like, or maybe an antique gold. It's, um, I just think it's gorgeous. And the glitter is not coming off on this. I just think is, ugh, I cannot wait to use this ribbon. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it's mm, a little bit more sheer than the last one I was trying to describe. Like I can see my fingers through it again, but I just think it's absolutely beautiful. Really gonna be easy to work with. And again, everything is wired. Then I have two more. These are pretty basic ribbons, but this one, you kind of get a two in one. So this is your, your plain green ribbon, but on the other side, it's red. So how fun is that? And I do think I have one like this, but I think it might be green and burgundy instead of green and red. Maybe, hopefully, <laughs> so, 
So this is another option. Um, and again, this is great for holiday packages. If you just want to make your holiday gifts um, stand out from everybody else's, just do a really pretty bow. So simple. You can check out my bow tutorial. Or you know what? Maybe I'll do one real quick at the end of the showing you all of this so you can see what I'm talking about. But it's really, really easy to make a gift look extra special. And when you can get ribbon at this price, why not, right? So this one is just a plain white satin and I have uh, recently run out of my white satin ribbon. And so I picked this up and yeah. So those are the 18 ribbons that I picked up. I am going to go ahead and show you how I make my bows in case that will be helpful to you, at least just one bow. Um, so there are actually a couple of different ways that you can do it, but one easy way is to just wrap it around itself, right? So you're just going to take your loops and you can decide how big you want your loops to be, right? So it really depends on how big your package is and how large you want your, your bow to be. And think about making it not so big that the bows get floppy. And I would say the larger your loops are gonna be, the more loops you're probably gonna wanna have. Because if you have just three loops on each side that are this big, your ribbon's not gonna look as full as if you have just three loops on each side that are this big. Hopefully that makes sense. But, um, so the larger your loops, probably the more loops you want to have to make your bow nice and full. So I am just gonna do, and the other thing you wanna keep in mind when you're making bows is whether it is single-sided or double-sided, right? So if you have a ribbon like this that is single-sided, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that all of the prettiness stays on the outside because there is another way of making a bow where you can fold it back and forth on itself like this, right? And I'm, I'm lying right now because that would keep it all together. So if it's flipping back and forth on itself, you are still going to have your um, pretty pattern on. No, you're not. Half of it. I was right in the first place. Half of it is going to end up being without the pretty on the outside, right? So for a bow like this, you're either going to want to do the wrapping around like this. Basically, you're just making an O and rolling the ribbon around on itself, right? And I'm doing this in the air because why not, right? So roll it around and around and around. And when you get to where you started and you've got the ribbon, you know, just hold it there for a second. You can pinch it in the middle and just check to see how many loops you have. Right now I have four. I'm going to do Let's do a couple more. Now granted this is not a huge bow. So one, two, three, four, five, I have five. You know what, maybe that's enough because this isn't a giant bow. So again, this is where I started. I'm gonna end it around the same spot. So before I do that though, I'm gonna kind of pinch it in the middle and I'm going to Go ahead and cut this off. Maybe if I can get my scissors to cooperate. There we go. Okay. And now what you can do, and you don't have to snip it, but you want to kind of find center. And then you could just wrap um, another piece of ribbon around it, but I'm going to actually notch it first. Be careful not to cut yourself, right? get those fingers out of the way. And you don't want to notch it a lot, just a little teeny bit. So I would say maybe an eighth of an inch, not a lot, just enough to get through all of the little wires. And then do the same thing on the other side. And this is going to give you a place to run a um, pipe cleaner or some sort of other wire to secure this. So I'm going to grab my pipe cleaner here. I happen to have them. A drawer over here. I happen to have a little short one, so I'm going to stick that into my little notches. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing there. You see how I've got them kind of in the notches? 
And then I'm going to, on the back side, bring it together and I'm gonna twist. And just twist and twist and twist, okay? So now my loops aren't gonna be able to pull out of this because I've got the, the wire through the notches. So it's gonna hold all of that in place. So now when I start to pull this apart, I'm just gonna grab the loops and pull them in opposite directions. And when you do that, oops, it's fine. When you do that, you're gonna be able to fluff up the ribbon and you can play with it a little bit. Sometimes the, the loops aren't gonna to wanna to go the way that you want them to, so just, just work with it, right? Um, and kind of twist them a little bit to get them where you want them. So just pull it all apart. And you can fluff as you go. And my sweet friends, Kay and Trish from Crafting Cousins, they make the best bows. They actually have a bow maker, so you can check out their channel and see how they did that, um, if that would be easier for you. But they say the more you fluff, the better your bow. So just um, keep in mind that you might need to play with it a little bit. But look at how pretty. I love this. And it was so easy to do, right? It's not hard. You can do this. You can do this not difficult. You just wrap it around itself and then keep fluffing and get it to where you want it. And then once that's done, you can apply it to your package. Now, I probably should have gone ahead and attached tails to it first. So I'm gonna you cut the length that you want your tails to be, basically. So, well, double the length that you want your tails to be because this is gonna be folded in half. Um, now, if you don't want it to wrap around the middle of your bow because you want to keep these loops up, and this is looking a little wonky right now just because I'm trying to do it in the air, but you don't have to wrap it around. You could just hook this into your little twist tie on the back here and then twist that around and you've got your tails just like that. That's super easy too. I tend to prefer to wrap it around my bow that's just my personal taste, right? So I tend to like to have the bow like that and have it looking like a bow. You can do either way. So if you want your bow to be completely covered in loops, you probably, excuse me, you probably don't want to do it the way that I'm doing it, but I tend to like mine to look like a, an actual bow. So with the loops on either side. So I've tied it around like that and then I can just go ahead and fluff again and I've got my tails coming down, right? And then I still have the pipe cleaner on the back that I can use to attach it to a wreath or another project. If you want to attach it to a wreath, I do recommend just using the full length pipe cleaner because it'll give you more to work with and you can always snip the ends off with wire cutters when you're all done. So that is one way to make a bow. I love this ribbon. I absolutely love this ribbon. I think it's so pretty. So that is one. So pretty. So there's that. And then you can certainly dovetail your ends or you can leave them cut at an angle. You definitely want to finish them one way or another um, so that they don't fray. But to dovetail it, again, you're going to just fold it, the ribbon in half, start at the creased end and aim upwards towards the wired edge and you've got a little dovetail. That's it. That's it. And with the wired ribbon, it also will kind of allow you to play with it and get it the shape that you want on your project, on your package, whatever it is that you're working with. So I love this ribbon, absolutely love it. So let me do one that has the double-sided, clearly the, the white is um, gonna be the same on both sides. So with this, you can do it back and forth, right? So back and forth. And again, just you want to just figure out how long you want your loops. I tend to eyeball a lot, you guys, and I know I'm, I probably make some of you crazy because I don't measure, and I know a lot of you like to have the measurements. I just, I try to give you guesstimates because I just don't measure. <laughs> um, I just eye it, I wing it. I don't know, it's, I guess, the way that I use my creativity, but um, 
but that's what I do. And so this, if I had to guess, I would say this is probably an eight inch bow. I've got about four inches on either side is what I would guess for those of you who like to have the measurements to go by. Um, but I just encourage you to just do what makes your eye um, happy, right? Do, make, do what makes your heart happy and what looks pretty to your eye. Because there is no wrong answer in crafting. You know, we create to make things our own and within our own vision, right? So I'm going to go ahead and do, I've got, that's four loops on either side. I'm probably making it look harder than it is because again I'm trying to do this in the air if you do it on a flat surface much easier um, but I want to make sure that you can see what I'm doing here okay let's do five on either side how's that okay and because the white ribbon is the same on both sides we can do it this way and not have to worry about half of our ribbon um, or half of our bow being without the pretty side, right? Okay, so I've got it all here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off. And I'm going to notch it again. So finding my middle about there. I'm going to get my fingers out of the way. Please be very careful when you do this because if you get your fingers in the way, sometimes with this ribbon, because it's so thick, you apply a lot of pressure to your scissors and all of a sudden your finger's there and you go chunk when you get through it and guess what? You just went through your finger too. So please don't do that. You wanna be real careful. Okay, I'm gonna grab another little pipe cleaner. Got my little iridescent one. I'm gonna use a full one this time and get that in through the notches. There we are with that. Twist, twist, twist. And then I can pull my loops in the different directions. Get this all fluffed up. with this one I'm going to leave it without the bow going through the middle or without the tails wrapping around the middle see there you can just pull the loops and again you fluff and fluff and fluff until you get it looking the way that you want it to look either on your package or on your wreath or on your craft on the top of your tree perhaps, okay? And then again, you could tie off, you don't have to have tails either. If you don't want tails, you don't have to have tails. So it's just really whatever makes your heart happy. Or alternatively, the tails that I started out with, I could have left those longer and cut a longer tail at the end and then I would have had one here and I've got one down here, right? And you can you can play with them a little bit and get them to, to go where you want them. but. All right, so that's two ways to make bows. I'll show you one last way that I like to make bows. And this is from my days at um, JC Penney when I was uh, in high school and college and I would work uh, sometimes at the customer service desk and I learned how to make bows for gift packages. So essentially, you're going to make little loops kind of like the um, the cancer awareness ribbons right or whatever awareness ribbons so you make a loop and then you loop it again and this can be done with one-sided ribbon right and you just keep looping it at a bit of an angle and again you can make this with as few or as many um, loops on either side as you wish how about this? This is like an impromptu bow tutorial. So right now I've got three on one side and two on the other. I'm gonna just do one more on this side. I'm gonna do three and three for this one. 
and again it's a lot easier when you can set it down on a table and and do that but okay so hopefully you can see I've got it's just angling them right so I've got three bows on either side I'm gonna go ahead and trim off my ribbon here okay and now I am going I'm not gonna notch this one I don't notch this so I'm gonna take another piece of ribbon. This is gonna be my tail, my big tail. So I'm actually gonna have four tails on this one rather than the regular two. And that's just by virtue of the way this bow is made. I can get my scissors to work again. These are not ribbon cutting scissors, clearly. Um, so I'm going to, I've got my ribbon here. I'm going to lay my tail ribbon on it. I'm gonna set this on here real quick. Feel free to set it down, right? And if your bows, your loops are not staying perfect, don't worry about it, because you're gonna have time afterwards to, to fix them. But I'm just tying a basic knot at the back, right? And I'm gonna pull it tight. Now, you, the front might get a little wonky. It will do that, because you're pulling this tight and you're pulling all this ribbon together. Don't worry about it. Just pull it tight, tie off your knot, Okay, and now we're gonna fix, so this is what it looks like, right? It's kind of a, a, not real pretty right now, right? But we're gonna make it pretty. So I'm going to make sure that I've got my tails where they go, and then I'm just going to, again, pop up the bow. And with this, because we didn't notch it, if you find that one of your loops is really long and one of them is really short, you can pull it through the middle and adjust the, the size of the loops. So it's a little bit um, easier to work with than the ones that we notched, right? Because once you notch it, the, the, the loops aren't going anywhere, right? So just fluff it up. And like I said, you can kind of pull it through a little bit different if it needs to be. I just love this ribbon. I think it's so pretty. I'm gonna pull this one this way instead. I don't like where it is. There we go. Like, like I said, do what makes your um, heart happy. If you don't like the way that the ribbon is looping, pull it a different way. I totally just changed the order of my loops and that makes me much happier. So, and then we're just gonna trim off the ends again and you've got your bow to stick on whatever it is that you've created your bow for, right? All right. Then we can dovetail our ends or cut them off at a nice angle. I don't know why, I always seem, I shouldn't say always, more times than night, not, I can't talk, more times than not, I like to dovetail my ends. Sometimes I will um, leave them at an angle, but most of the time I like to dovetail them. It's just my personal preference, so. You do what makes you happy and what makes your eyes smile, right? Because it's all supposed to make us happy, right? That's what crafting is all about. It should be joyful. And I'm gonna just twist some of my tails around so I've got my pretty sparklies facing forward. And that's, that's it. All right, so there are three ways that you can make some bows. I do, like I said, have a um, full boo boo bow tutorial. I'll make sure that I link that in the description box. Um, I am gonna play with this some more because I do feel like my bow is a little bit lopsided. But again, I can do that because I don't have them notched in the middle there, right? So I'm gonna keep on playing with this. I will let you get on with your day, but I do appreciate you stopping in to see all about the Costco ribbon. Really excited for everything to come with this. And until the next time, be well, be kind, and make it a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Take good care. Bye.